Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and I am making a quick video at 10, 15 at night um, so that I can hopefully get it ready to go first thing in the morning. It is a come and make with me, and let's start with an invitation. I am having a yarn party. Um, it is a crochet or knit with me kind of a thing. You can bring any project you want. You can bring knitting, you can bring weaving, you can bring dyeing, you can bring yourself just to chat, uh, diamond art, uh, anything you wanna do that won't interfere with the conversation. It is being hosted on a Zoom style. It's not actually Zoom. A Zoom style um, website. You don't have to log into anything. You just click the link and you get in. Um, I can have up to 11 guests. I'm pretty sure I already have one. So that means I have 10 slots av available. When is this party happening? Um, it is happening on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight. We're in daylight time. Mountain Daylight Time. Um, I'm planning to do these every Wednesday and I'm going to have the time going from 10 until noon. I'm going to sit and crochet or if I get to a point where I can't crochet anymore because sometimes my hand gets tired, I can switch to knit. Um, but I'm going to have my projects. I'm going to be on the chat. Um, it's not going to be recorded so you can come and show your face if you want to. You can jump, come and just do your voice or you can come and just use a little um, written chat. Um, but it's just an opportunity to have an online crochet or knit group. So we're calling it a yarn party. And I would love it if you would come. If you want to come, please send me an email. Um, and I will put you on my list of people to send the link out to. All right. Um, now that the invitation is out of the way, let's talk about hook that subscribe button and like the video and leave some yarn, a comment in the comment section and um, let me know what you're working on and how things are going, all that kind of stuff. Um, right now I am in the middle of a crochet along that I am doing with Will Work For Yarn, Mary at Will Work For Yarn. She is she's a delightful person, guys. She is so fun. I've had a couple conversations with her. Um, got to see her face last week. It was great. We did a yarn party, just the two of us, last week. It was a lot of fun just to sit and chat with her, just back and forth while I worked on my yarn. Um, and like I said, you can bring a yarn project. You can bring something else, or you can just come and chat with us. Um, but I'm going to leave the link open for a couple hours and so if you want to join. Uh, I do not know the the exchange things. I'm pretty sure Pac Pacific time would be at 9. I think Eastern time would be at noon. But just you can Google um, the time change if you need to. It's mountain time, Denver time, even though I'm in Utah. So yeah, okay. Um, so what are Mary and I working on? We are working on the uh, Mosaic in a Month by Juniper and Oaks. And I will of course put the um, link down below so you can go check that out. So the first section is this red section with the triangles and that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. This is my first time doing mosaic. It's overlay mosaic um, and you start at one end, you do it all the way across and then you come back and you do it all the way across and then you just cut off and you leave a whole bunch of ends on both sides. You could leave them as fringe or there are ways, there's a thing called an envelope border where you kind of work around it. I haven't done one yet, so I can't tell you about it. Okay. The next section that I did was this orange section. And I think it turned out pretty nice. I do have to say, I was like six rows into the yellow section 
when I realized I made a mistake in my last row of my orange section and I had to frog it all. I technically didn't have to frog everything because um, I only had to frog the entirety of, well, probably if could have only frogged back portions, but I ended up just taking it all off because I couldn't figure out where my mistake was for the longest time, but I only had to frog back the row above it partway. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I got it all fixed. I am halfway through the yellow section, so let me show you that. Um, so we got this repeating pattern of these, whatever those are. And so that is what I've got. Um, this is about 60 inches wide. I'm using worsted weight yarn. I am using um, the big twist for this gray color and then these yellow, orange, red, um, all the rainbow colors are from Mainstays and they're all um, worsted weight acrylic yarn. So pretty excited about this. I'm really excited. I cannot wait. <gasps> I'm just like working my way through. I don't love the yellow section. Um, I'm lo I loved the, the, I love doing the red. I love doing the orange. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the yellow section. I mean, like, I think it looks cool once it's done, but, um, I'm not enjoying, um, the process of the yellow one. It just not as fun, but looking ahead at the green, I'm so excited for the green. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to work across the green. So that will be the color after this and I'm excited. So be sure to send me an email, um, the link for my email, like the, my email is down below. Um, send me an email if you want to come to the yarn party tomorrow or in the future. Maybe you can't make it tomorrow, but you're like, hey, Michelle, put me on your list. I want to be there next week. I have something going on this week, but I want to be there. I want to participate because um, I would be happy to put you on the list. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. I have wanted a crochet or knit group for a while. Um, I have been hesitant to go. Like I went to Petite Fours and Pearls, which is a yarn store in Lehigh. It's a super cute store. Um, and we were very careful not to touch the wool, but by the time we left, my allergies were flared up and I was like, stupid wool in the air. And that is why I have avoided knit groups is because, um, uh, there, there are people that use wool and as somebody who's allergic just even at flying in the air, um, I don't want people to not have to use it because they want to use, like I want people to use the yarn that they want to use. Um, and so I'm really excited for this opportunity to do an online version and I'm hoping, um, for now, I only have the 11 spots, but if I have enough interest, I will probably search out a different platform to maybe try to get more um, open spots. There is a free option that I was trying that would allow up to 100 people, but um, when I tried it with a, uh, one of my healing clients, she couldn't see us. Uh, I could see her. And on my end, everything looked to be re working, but for some reason, the video wasn't going through to her. So um, I decided to find an alternative. So, so far I'm liking, I've used the current alternative four times with perfect success. It just has a limit of so many people. So that's kind of a bummer. But um, I actually kind of like that though, because then you can keep your group small um, so maybe if I have enough interest, I could do um, a yarn group, two yarn groups um, at different times and then, um, you know, you can come to one of them. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's it. That's what I have to say today. Remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!